Oh, hey, didn't see you there. I was just checking this new product for draft. One of the first things I do when a client sends me their product file is check for proper drafting. If it's not there, I know we'll have some work to do before we start manufacturing. So what is draft? And why do we need it for injection molding? A draft angle is a taper applied to the vertical walls of the injection molded component that helps release the part from the mold. If you don't add draft to your design, making your product be a little risky. Here are top three reasons why you should be including draft in your medical product design. And what might happen if you don't? Reason one, your part may not even eject. When designing your part, you might have been thinking about the end result, but not about how it's gonna be manufactured. An undrafted part may not be able to eject, which means you have to stop production to manually remove the part. This can damage the mold and shorten its lifespan. Reason two, you might get a set of defects. When a part ejects from a mold, any walls that are perpendicular to the direction of ejection may scrape along the wall cavity through the entire ejection process. This can lead to warping, scratching, and cracking. A slight draft from your walls will aid in ejection and keep your part free of defects. Reason three, drafting makes injection molding quicker, easier, and cheaper. Drafted parts need less time to cool, which cuts down on cycle times. Drafted parts also need less complex tools, saving you from unnecessary investments. Designing with draft in mind, understanding draft angles means that you'll have less risk of deformation when you go to mold your part. Don't risk your product success. When you're ready to design your next medical part, come to Natech where you can work with experts in the field. We'll make sure you have the best DFA and practices in place for a successful product launch.